rides. I've had the same ones for like years and they're falling apart. So I'm gonna grab some more. Okay, all right, no worries. All right, so I just got out of finish line. I wasn't allowed to film in there, they cut me off, so. Um, but I did get these dope Jordan slides, man. Check these things out. Hey, I was trying to set this shot up in my Gorilla Pod, bro. Man, I've been waiting for these packages. I uh, really been putting a lot of effort into upping the quality of my vlogs. Let me see if I can set this down here. Really been inspired by uh, Casey Neistat and uh, Peter McKinnon, really just to step up my uh, quality here. So, uh, one thing I noticed is I've been super lacking in sound. So, I've been waiting for this guy for a while, man. This. Uh, right here is basically uh, pretty much universally accepted as the, get out of your box, this is per, pretty much like the mic to use if you're if you're doing YouTube. Uh, most YouTubers use this, it's a Rode uh, video mic, uh, it just mounts right on top of your camera, as you can see right there, look at that, so awesome. We open it up, uh, you can see it comes with the mic. Uh, it comes with this little cord here. This little cord is what plugs into the uh, back of this microphone. And then this microphone plugs right into your camera. Uh, so if you have a camera that supports an external mic, that's the way to go. A little instruction booklet there. Um, who reads instructions, right? So uh, we're going to get this hooked up. Hello, we should be coming through the new mic now. This wind jammer here is a Rycote wind jammer. Um, and it just it goes, as you can see here, it just opens up and it goes right over the top of your microphone. This probably sounds horrific. All right, awesome, so the mic, the wind jammer, everything is on now. You can tell my home kitchen is basically my test lab. So you can tell I got some, uh, some random oregano growing up there. So another thing I needed to do, see we've got a second box here. Uh, another thing I needed to do uh, when I got the uh, Canon camera here is I realized very fast that the battery does not last long. So if you're filming, uh, if you're doing a lot of filming, um, you're definitely or, or taking a whole lot of pictures, you're probably definitely going to want to upgrade uh, and get multiple batteries. So um, I went ahead and ordered just some. I don't even know how to say that, um, but I, I went ahead and ordered some uh, third market batteries here. I don't know if they're any good. Um, we'll find out. We'll give you a little update. One thing I thought was super cool here is that it has that uh, LCD screen on it, the, so it kind of tells you exactly if it's charged or not. So um, I'll do a review on these later. Uh, maybe. Maybe I won't. I don't know. We'll find out. But um, I'm going to go ahead and get those charged up comes with a the charging cradle there comes with a little charging uh, cable and then uh, my the particular package I bought comes with uh, two batteries it should snap right in there look pretty similar uh, I would say that's oh a proto I don't, I don't know how you say that but uh, that's what I got you know if they don't work out then I'll probably just end up 
uh, slide back over uh, and get some more Canon batteries. But uh, these were significantly cheaper. 